don't you dare show that. <laughs> if you show that, I will, well, the, the statue I've got around London, Birmingham and Ireland will be gone. Don't you dare, I nearly knocked her out. <laughs> Clinton Morrison's professional career spanned 19 years, 8 clubs and 460 league appearances, during which he scored 152 goals. In 2004, he signed for Birmingham City from Crystal Palace for £4 million, as the club entered the Premier League for the first time and won a permanent place in Blues fans' heart with big goals and hard work. Troy Deeney came home this summer, signing for his boyhood club after spending a memorable 11 years at Watford. Here's Hogg! He smashed 140 goals and 419 appearances for the Hornets, but now he's back to try and guide his club up the table and back to the promised land. Ahead of a huge Midlands derby between West Brom and Birmingham City, the League of 72 sent Clinton back to his old stomping ground to lace up his boots alongside Troy to see if he's still got some magic in them. This is Still Got It. Here to do some shooting, yes. masterclass from the legend. No, I don't I spent think so. Me, I spent many a money <laughs> on this, uh, this gentleman. And now I'm spending many a money watching this legend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Jesus, I, I feel, all right, I'm going to go first, but I, I feel God's this five might go. Keeps, don't let him score, don't let him score. <laughs> oh, look at that, that was he easy. Sees that he's happy with easy. that. <laughs> That was a warm up, I was testing you. Are we just warming the keeper up, yeah? Yeah, girl, you just strike me, you say. <laughs> oh, I love oh, it. He's gone for the stand straight away. Oh, slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lucky. Troy, big no, Birmingham but... fan, yeah? Yeah. I just took you this long to play for your local club. Um, circumstance, really, bro. Yeah. Circumstance, yeah. So, obviously, going into my 12th year at Watford, yeah. um, but knew kind of like game time would be limited with the players that they brought in, etc. Yeah. And I weren't really at that age where I wanted to sit around and take a pay packet or just be comfortable on the bench. Yeah. So, great opportunity. Got on the phone with uh, guards, had a good chat and, and met the manager as well. And yeah. before you know it, like, they're good people, you know them, yeah, they're good people. Course. And they, you want to work with good people and they showed me that they wanted me. Because obviously Lee Boyer, he's came in last season, done a brilliant job. He's brought you back to this football club. Mm -hmm. How do you find working with Lee Boyer at this precise moment? It's good, it's yeah. good. Do you know what, I love straight straight people. Um, there's no grey area, it's black and white, which is obviously as you get older, yeah. you respect that more and more. But he's, um, I say, we had a really good start when he first came in. We had a good start to this season. The yeah. international break probably killed us. Yeah, yeah. I've come in at international break and then it looks for the outside like, nah, I've we come know. in and mess yeah, things up. But yeah, he's nah. um, no. just going through those spells in seasons that you do where it's games you should have won and we didn't, and we're just losing run the wrong end of it at the moment, but he's been great. I think he's, he's definitely trying to build something here. I think he's the right man to, to, to push us up the league and get us to where we want to be, because you're, you're having to change mindsets. And obviously when you're in the game, you understand yeah. that, but for, for the outside people, like Birmingham have been, I think three of the last four years or four of the last five years, last day staying up. Yeah. So the mentality is used to relegation battles. So now he's coming in and changing that and try to go, this is how you be consistent on a, on a daily basis to get up the league and, and get the what you And do. there's one question, because I know you personally, where we are good friends, and there's one thing, you, you remind me, so you're a winner. So you yeah. want to win, and I know what it's like. So you coming into this dressing room, I know what it's like, because I've been in a dressing room, and instantly people will judge you, because mm -hmm. they've seen what you're like beforehand, and they <coughs> used to do it to me until they get to know you. How, how, is it, how has the players been with you? Because I know what you're like, if it's not going well, you'll say your piece, and that's mm -hmm. what you should do, and that's what makes you a brilliant captain and have the career you've had. So how's it been going? Do you know what, I, I, I would say I've, I've kind of tweaked my approach to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, would I love to come in and take a sledgehammer to the place and go, this is how it needs to be? <laughs> of course I would, but yeah. I'm respectful. I think that's just with age, you get yeah, a bit more respectful. Um, we've already got Harley Deed, who's captain, Juki as well big solid pro, but they've got a few lads that have been around the block, they yeah, know what yeah. they're doing, so you don't have to come in and necessarily smash it to bits, but also I've got to hit the ground running and I haven't done that yet, so if mm -hmm. I can get back scoring and doing what I do, I think then the respect has always been there because everyone's treating me really well, yeah. but the respect then grows and then you're in a position to start demanding more. I'm always one of the people that unless I'm doing 
my job to the best of my ability. I can't then demand off somebody else. But the results haven't been you know, reflective, I don't think. We've, we've been missing a lot of chances and defending poorly, so we expect to put that right next Friday. So you've been missing chances, so watch this. So I'm just out. so you just so you can see, because I heard you've been missing chances. This yeah. was Clinton back in the day, yeah. maybe. I was say, no, that's what, a pass back. What, what oh, you, I've kicked the ground would also, there. He never shot this far out in his no. whole career. And he's, he's actually <laughs> right because I never. I was a six-yard box, so for me to shoot out here is a big struggle for me. But this man can finish. <laughs> there you go, and he's got the power. Goalkeeper. <laughs> Lucky though. By the way, if you didn't get that, that looked unbelievable. That there was a great strike. Didn't there was it? a run out Dino advert, very that similar to that, wasn't that? Good strike, mate. Hit the bar, come back to me. That was a very good strike. I right, talked to me um, how it is was growing up in Chelmsley Wood. Mate. Yeah. How well, do you know it? what? You know what's been very good. A lot of people here have tried to claim Chelmsley Wood, <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm very, di I'm disappointed, but I'm also proud as well that I can make Chelmsley Wood be so like known because people from Kingshurst claiming Chelmsley Wood from. You know, from Yardley, the lad over there, Clay with it. They're all trying to Clay Chelmsley Gary Gardner's Wood. over there, that's who he's talking about, <laughs> everyone. Gary Gardner. <laughs> so they all try and claim Chelmsley Wood. But you know what, for growing up for me, it was, you know, it was a little, it was a little bit tough, like I had some yeah. tough times, but it was my normal. And as you know, coming from South London, yeah. in, it's more of a, I, I, class it was a working class background. But I think in the social classes, the lower income, there's more troubles, isn't there? There's more yeah, people don't know how to deal with certain uh, instances. Like we didn't talk, we didn't emotionally chat. We just got on with things. And um, you know, that's made me the person I am. God, God, God think something, Giz. God, come on, mate. Uh, you know, you don't got be Gary, nice to him as Gary well. Gary God, you know, you know, look at this guy's techers. Don't be nice no to pressure. him as well. No, oh, no tech. Oh, this is a goal. It's a goal. Oh, oh Clinton, how's your touch? I don't want to strike through it. You know, like, old age, isn't it? Oh, oh God. God. Touch. Finish. Did you see that? That's the trade, I know. <laughs> Keep out. If I'm looking that way, I promise you, it's going that way. Don't worry. Oh, there God. you go. Little bouncer. Reverse. Oh, that's a good I get that on camera. Come on. <laughs> that was against Villa. I just got to the corner as well. <laughs> Sent to the fan. Come on. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> zig it. Zig it. Ball. Oh, that's an awful touch, but I still score. Oh! <laughs> Oi. No way. He's, an awful Keith, touch. he's never going to stop talking about I that. I told you it was a bad touch. I'm sorry, Keeps. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Oh, I used to be decent, you know. <laughs> Torch. Uh oh, we don't like them. It, no, 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 keeper. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you hey. Just God, come and bench that press is him, absolutely Keeps. top draw delivery. Come and bench press him, you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, God. What's he got? That's it. Oh, he knows that corner now. So what do I do? Next corner. See if he reads it. <laughs> oh, he's got you. You got him. You got him. I told him I was going to do that. Out. Didn't he's took the camera out. It's not even better. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> guys, volleys, but I don't know if I'm going to pull something. Old age. That's why he wants to do it, guys. <laughs> Here this we is, go, guys. This is the money maker when he's gone. Oh, boy. Two touch. No, sorry. Do it again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> sorry, I wanted to get you involved. <laughs> Oh Don't you dare shit. show that! If you show that, I will, the, the statue I've got around London, Birmingham and Ireland will be gone. Don't you I dare, I nearly that. knocked her out. <laughs> Volley is not my game, he knows that, that's why he asked to do this. <laughs> Guys, that's uh -oh. magnificent. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, Gaz, it was good, the ball. <laughs> I hey, the when you catch it sweet, like, if that goes in, I'm running around the training ground. <laughs> this one's just got to be hit hard. I no, that's not bad, is it, for an old man, is it? Oh! <laughs> Love it. Try! See, that's why he likes to do I them long down outside the box. It does my head. I used in. to be really good. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah, you went on trial at Villa when you were 15. How yeah. did that feel? Uh, bit surreal. My younger brother was there. Yeah. So my brother had been there from the age of six to 20. Yep. So he was like, he was, he was the man, my yeah. little brother. But um, I was 15. Thought I was tough. Thought I was bad. I was about to chase the girls. It was, you know, the summer holiday, <laughs> yeah, like that week off school. Yeah. And they kind of had like a, they invited like three of us. Yeah. And I went to day one and they gave us like this sheet of itinerary and it was like trade, 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 match. Yeah. So I was like, I don't need to come for the trade, I was coming for the match. Yeah, exactly. So I stayed at home and chasing girls around the park, being yeah. with the lads, trying to be bad. Exactly. And then yeah. I come in on the last day, 
played the match, yeah. and they kind of like just took that as he ain't serious with yeah. it. And to be honest, where I was at that moment, I weren't serious with it because all yeah. our family's energies was in my younger brother. Oh, okay, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because he was like, he'd been there from six, six so yeah. you know that traditional way of he'd gone through all of the steps, yeah. he was playing. Mm. How am I going to make it a 15? Yeah, you know yeah. What I, mean? I get what you mean. That, that was kind of how the mentality was then. Yeah, that yeah. mentality. And is your dream like, because I always remember my first, the first derby against Birmingham Villa. It's a ridiculous um, um, atmosphere to score in. You know, you have a lot of people saying to you, ah, it's a derby. But I'm coming from London thinking, oh, whatever. But you yeah. got everyone coming up to the street and saying, fantastic. To score in it, like, it's one of the best feelings yeah. I've ever done in my career. That is obviously got to be one of your dreams for Birmingham to get to the Premier League and to score. I know you scored against yeah. them for other teams, but for your boyhood team. Yeah, that would do you know, be do you know what? It, it, it would be, but I think I was having this conversation with Gabby not too long ago, actually, yeah. and it was like he did it, and, and probably you did in your prime. Yeah, yeah. So you had like the best opportunity to give the best step, your best step forward. 100%. I'm probably coming to the end of my career. Yeah. So even if we, let's say we got them in the FA Cup this year, let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the, the, the scales are tipped yeah. because they've got the Premier League budget we're coming through. Yeah, it's but harder. every time I've played there, it's felt like a derby to me. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. even when I'm at Watford, they don't care about Watford. They care about, about Troy. Troy. Mm. So I think of the four, or I think we played six times. Uh, I didn't lose five of them. I lost the last one. The end of the game, 40,000 people. Dee what's the score? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? And it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 it was yeah. a derby for me. Yeah, of course it Even is. Even though I scored in that game. Yeah. I felt worse because I, I always score against them and I'm always confident I'm going to score against them. But there you go. In, this, in this situation, if we could get a Blues Villa derby, you know, especially at St Andrews as well with yeah. a full crowd, yeah, it'd, be it'd be madness. Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm back my. Yes. Oh my god! Don't waste your time, my legs. I've keeps. never ever struck that ball that good in my whole career and it hits the post. Hey, <laughs> don't waste your time, my legs. Oh, it keeps. Sorry about this. Oh my God! Oh. No, if that goes in there, we stop the session. Look, the link up play is ridiculous. Have you ever heard of York and Cole? <laughs> That's what that would have been. My Love guy. Thank you, man. Legend. Appreciate you coming up. Always, always.